In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. And yesterday, we finally got the big news, all the info, the release information for Future State, which is going to be DC Comics kind of a holding pattern in January and February as a rate for the big relaunch of the DC Universe following the fallout of Dark Knight's Death Metal, which is ongoing and uh, you know should be up. It's going to be finishing right around the end of the year. In December, they're also doing another... Uh, Kind of a different holding pattern with Endless Winter. So there's going to be like a three-month period where they're, they're kind of finishing up Death Metal and they're just in a holding pattern. Future State, you know, you know, it's kind of like Convergence. It's like two months of stories in future universes that might happen. And I imagine that they're doing this um, so they can relaunch launch some new universes, launch some new corners of the DC universe that, that they can revisit and play, play with play in again in the future but you know I think that's all undetermined at this point although I wouldn't be surprised if we find out that the John Ridley Batman story that is uh, the new Batman ends up being its own kind of ongoing comic book outside of this I bet that's already planned because it's the only one they mentioned you know John Ridley is going to be writing Batman in 2021 it's the only one they had really mentioned before that. So I wouldn't be surprised if we, if we actually see that one kind of keep going on. Obviously, Batman's their big cash cow. And so today, I already talked about kind of the creative teams, the titles. Today, I'm going to talk about the hero identities and the pod elements that we know. I've got a spoiler right here on the, on the thumbnail. Wally West kills again. He's evil, folks. He's going to be evil. It looks like Superman is going to abandon Earth and, uh, I don't know, go on a journey kind of like Planet Hulk, something like that. But let's get into the details. There's a lot of information I need to jam through. I'm also going to give you all the prices that you're going to have to pay for these comic books because it is going to be somewhat expensive depending on which which hero you like. So I'm going to break them into the Batman family, the Superman family, and the Justice League family. And uh, I don't have thumbnails for all of them because there's a lot of titles here, but I try to get every character that I could uh represented on, on the thumbnails that, that I have. Now, before I get into the details, if you're enjoying the content, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Today is the day to subscribe to Thinking Critical YouTube, the best comic book, uh, uh, news comic book reviews on the on the interwebs, period, bar none. I'm just putting it out there. Also, uh, hit the bell for notifications. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. Now, let's start jamming through this. This is We're going to start out with the Batman family. And this is what DC says, just generally speaking. In this future, Gotham City is controlled by the magistrate. This villainous regime has taken control of the city, now under constant surveillance. All mass vigilantes have been outlawed, and Batman has been killed. But led by an all-new Batman, a new assembly of Gotham's guardians rise to give hope to all of those who have lost it. So that's very exciting. That is just the general feeling for the Batman family of comics. Now... If you were a big Batman family, if you want to invest in all these, in January, there are going to be nine issues, and it's going to cost you $50 total. Now let's get into how we get to those numbers. There are going to be two issues of the next Batman. They're $8 each. They're 64 pages. So essentially, you're getting a 32-page comic and two backup stories in each issue. Now, we don't know much actually about the, the next Batman other than he's fighting the magistrate. But it is going to be Tim Fo or Luke Fox or Tim Fox. We're not sure which one. It's someone from the Lucius Fox, Lucius Fox lineage. Uh, they haven't announced which one. They're, they're keeping that redacted at this point. But he's, he's essentially fighting magistrates, private police force in the future. Gotham is, is breaking down. They hire, they hire magistrate to become the private police force. They take over. And this is all following something called A-Day. Is that out for a day? I don't know. Maybe. Now, the backup stories on the first issue are going to be Outsiders. The only thing I know about that really is that Katana is one of the Outsiders and the leader. And Arkham Knights is also going to be in that first issue. And the Arkham Knights is, is essentially Arkham Asylum is de decommissioned in the future. And a team of Croc, Two-Face, Phosphorus, Zaz, Clayface, and Astrid Arkham are teaming up. And they're wreaking havoc on the streets of 
of Gotham. So that are those are the Arkham Knights that are going to be in issue one. In issue number two, we're going to get Batgirls, and those are Cassandra Kane and Stephanie Brown. Obviously, that is coming right out of the pages of Detective Comics 1027, and they find themselves in prison with heroes and villains. But little do, does everyone else know, Cassandra was sent in the, into the prison on, on a mission. So not even Stephanie Brown knows that she's on a mission. And as far as Gotham City Sirens, I didn't really find much information on that. But that is the second backup story. Whenever you see these comics that, that are $8, it's because you got a main story that's 32 issues, 32 pages, and two backup page, two backup stories. The ones that are $6 are 48 pages because there's a 32-page main story and then a backup story. And uh, there's, there's only, I believe, three titles that are going to be – no, it's, two titles are going to be $8 and several that are 6 then everything else is four dollars. Now the other big Batman comic is the is the Dark Detective. So if you thought you weren't getting Bruce Wayne, the joke's on you. He is in here, and you're going to get two issues of Dark Detective. Uh, they're going to be six dollars each in forty eight pages. So one regular story and a backup story in each of those. And in Dark Detective, Bruce Wayne is not dead, but is on the run from magistrate investigating his own murder. Bruce's own legacy helped to enable the greatest authoritarian force that uh, the city of Gotham's ever seen. So much like we're, we saw in Joker War and, and uh, what is it, the, the Dark Knight Returns in the Nolan trilogy, they're using Batman's own tools to, um, to keep the city of Gotham down. So that's that story. So Bruce Wayne isn't dead. He's actually alive. And the first issue has the backup story of the Grifters, or Grifter, and that is obviously one of the um, Wildstorm characters, I believe. And he's going to meet Luke Fox. That's all the information I was able, able to really glean from that one. And the second issue has a backup story of, of Red Hood. I believe that one's Joshua Williamson's writing that, so it's a good writer on that one. Jason Todd works with Magistrate hunting heroes and villains until there's a, I guess there's a team of of red hoods that hit the street and he's got to do an investigation. So Jason Todd is evil and he's working for the magistrate in Dark Detective. Another comic that's coming out is Batman Superman. This is one issue, $4.32 pages. And this is a prequel. At least that's what I can tell. And Bruce calls in Clark to help in, in Gotham, but it's a trap. And, uh, and it turns out Professor Pig has a kryptonite scalpel. So that's that's what they were selling on that one. The next one is Catwoman, four dollars thirty-two pages, and this is Selena Selena Kyle Catwoman. She is armed with a new magnetic suit, and it's featuring Catwoman's new protege. I believe she was introduced in the Catwoman 80th anniversary special, I believe, and she must pull off the impossible, a train heist where she steals the entire damn train. So that's what Catwoman's going to be about. So let's get to the next set of covers and the next set of uh, descriptions that we have. Harley Quinn is going to be a $6.48 page comic book. And this does feature the original Harley Quinn in prison. And it's also going to have the Scarecrow who's working for the magistrate. I've also heard a rumor that possibly Punchline will be the new Harley Quinn while Harley Quinn's in prison. That would be weird. But interesting. But weird. But interesting, but really weird. The next one is Nightwing, and that is going to be a four but four dollar thirty two page comic, and that is Dick Grayson Nightwing, and he has taken upon himself to uh, keep the citizens of Gotham safe. And now next, uh, in this issue, he also gets a visit from a new man in a mask claiming to be Batman, and is he going to fight him or is he going to join him? So there's a little bit of tension there. And the last one we're going to talk about is Robin Eternal. And this is going to be Tim Drake. And spoiler, this is another heist book. The magistrate is hunting down Lazarus Resin so he can create an immortal force for his police force. And it's described as a fist-flying, skydiving, robot-smashing, fascist-punching adventure. And that is also going to be $4 and 32 pages. I think, I don't know. Robin and Turtle actually looks pretty darn good. That's probably one that I'm pretty excited about. So that's the Batman family of comics. Like I said, nine issues, $50 for Batman readers. Now let's move on to the Superman family of comics. This is going to be eight issues and $42. And this is what DC is uh, saying about the new Superman 
world. Due to his involvement in an international crisis happening in the near future, Clark Kent has been rejected by Earth, causing him to focus on his life-saving efforts outside his adopted home. He travels to War World to rise to the ranks of gladiatorial combat in order to defeat Mongol with the help of some unlikely heroes. Back in Metropolis, Clark's son John has taken on the mantle of Superman. After seeing the horrors that befell Gotham, he bottles Metropolis in order to keep it safe, putting him at odds with Supergirl. Connecting the two oversized future state uh, Superman titles is Shiloh Norman. The new Mr. Miracle finds himself caught between the city he grew up in and the battle-torn planet that could be his downfall. Meanwhile, in the Amazon rainforest, Yara Floor is chosen to be the new Wonder Woman. Years later, the new Superman and Wonder Woman join forces to save their cities in a new superhero team-up, the likes of which the world has never seen. Boom, people. 48, or eight issues, $42 of Superman fun. So we'll start out with Superman and Metropolis. And this is Jonathan Kent as Superman. $6, 48 pages. The top priority for this new Superman to protect Metropolis, the bottled city of Metropolis. When a new version of Brainiac attacks John takes drastic measures, resulting in the bottling of the city. It also mentions that Supergirl is going to be in this story, but we know Kara is now Superwoman. So I imagine this is a new character, but that's all the information that I have. I'm sorry. That's, that's all I got, people. And in the backup stories, there's going to be a backup story uh, for these. The first one is The Guardian, and this is going to happen within the bottled city, Jake Jordan, the former Manhattan Guardian, is squaring off with an anarchist calling herself Honest Mary. There you go. And then the next story is going to be Mr. Miracle. The current Mr. Miracle, Shiloh Norman, is also in the bottle city of Candor. Or not Candor, the Metropolis. There you go. The next title is Superman Worlds of War, $8, 64 pages. Clark Kent Superman has abandoned Earth. He's gone to War World, people where he fights as a gladiator in the deadly pits of Mongol so he can eventually find him and take him down. And there's going to be some uh, backup stories. The first one is Midnighter. This is also a wild storm character. And he is on the hunt for a new energy source, deadlier than kryptonite. I imagine he means deadlier for Superman than kryptonite. Black Racer is a girl raised in the slums of War World to be one of its top competitors. And then there is a Mr. Miracle backup story, and it says the current Mr. Miracle, Shiloh Norman, arrives on World War, War World from Metropolis, and I believe he was riding a boom tube. So there you go. That's, so that one's going to happen, people. The next thing we have is a mortal Wonder Woman, folks. $6.48 pages. This is going to have a main story and one backup. Uh, a threat appears that even the mighty dark side can't handle. And it's, and it's up to Diana Prince Wonder Woman to take on the battle. So I imagine we will be seeing Darkseid in the Immortal Wonder Woman. In the backup story is Nubia. And this is what they say about that one. The original champion of Themyscira protects Earth from the dangers of the world of mist and magic. So she's basically doing kind of what Wonder Woman's doing in Just Sleep Dark, but doing it solo. There you go. And the next comic we have is... Kara zor -El Superwoman. This is $4.32 pages. Uh, Kara watches over the moon and the refugees from across the galaxy that are living there until a spaceship piloted by a runaway alien crash lands on the moon and calls her to adventure. That is a damn terrible cover. I'm just putting it out there. The Legion of Superheroes, Brian Michael Bendis. The only person really staying on his, his own title. Although, I guess Justice League Dark technically has Ram B on it. There's another one in there, too. But there ain't many people on the original titles. Unfortunately, Bendis is on Legion of Superheroes. Ultra Boy tries to put the Legion back together after they have basically broken apart. One of them has gone rogue, folks, and he's trying to take over the galaxy. And it also promises an appearance by the Legion of Substitute Heroes. So if you've been waiting for the Legion of Substitute Heroes... Brian Michael Bendis is bringing them back. The next one we have to talk about is Superman Wonder Woman, $4.32 pages. Jonathan Kent and Yara Floor need to put their differences aside long enough to save the world. Well, hopefully, they're, hopefully they can work together. 
The next one is Superman versus Imperius Lex, $4.32 pages. Superman and Lois Lake take on Lex and his new planet Lexlore as they try to join the United Planets. He's up to no good. I'm just putting it out there. And the last one, as far as the Superman family goes, is the new Wonder Woman, $4.32 pages. Yara Floor journeys to the underworld to rescue one of her Themyscaran sisters from the grafts of Haiti. She's definitely the most attractive new character. I'm just putting it out there. The new Brazilian Wonder Woman, folks. Joelle Jones. She is a damn good artist. That is a cool design, too. I like, I like the outfit, folks. Now moving on to the Justice League family of books. A little bit less, a uh, smaller descriptor. Obviously, this is a more diverse array of characters. The Justice League of DC Future State will have their secret identities hidden from each other with the first issue covering uh, cover featuring... New takes on Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Flash, Green Lantern, and Aquaman. Speaking of Justice League, that is a $6 comic book, 48 pages. Also, if you want to buy all the Justice League, it's going to be eight issues, $38 total. This is the only one that doesn't have a, an $8 comic book. And the, so the Justice League is going to have one backup story. Like I said, six pages, or $6, 48 pages, sorry. Jonathan Kent is Superman. Yara Floor is Wonder Woman. Jojo Mullins and her fine ass is Green Lantern. Obviously, she's coming from Far Sector. Andy Curry, the daughter of, of uh, Aquaman and Mira, is Aquawoman. And there's a new flash from the multiverse. And then a Fox son as Batman. We are still not certain which one it is, but that is the new look of Batman there, folks. I'm, I don't know. They say Luke Fox ran into another character in another book. I'm saying it's Tim Fox. I'm putting it out there, folks. I think it's Tim Fox, just from the little bit of information that we know. And the backup. So the Justice League story is from Joshua Williamson, who actually just did finish the Justice League uh, story. And then the backup story is Justice League Dark from Ram V. And he's an amazing writer. So this is probably you know, your best value, 48 pages by two excellent writers. And Justice League Dark is going to feature Zatanna, Detective Chimp, who's now possessed by Etrigan, John Constantine, Ragman, and Madame Xanadu as they face off with the power mad Crow King Merlin. Also, where's Dr. Fate? That is part of the story, folks. And that is going to be the backup story for Justice League. The next big one is it says Green Lantern on the cover, but in the solicitations, they call it the Last Lanterns. I, it must be the same thing. Maybe the, the it's just the Green Lanterns, and the main story is Last Lanterns, and the backup story is Tales of the Green Lantern Corps. I'm not sure. But Green Lanterns is going to be $6, 48 pages. John Stewart and an elite team of Lanterns are trapped behind enemy lines and fighting for their lives when the central power battery goes dark. That sounds perilous, people. And then the backup story is Tales of the Green Lantern. Court, not a whole lot of information there. Jessica Cruz, Guy Gardner, and the Sinestro Court will be involved. Also, Guy Gardner, I believe, opens up the uh, Warrior Bar as well. The next one is, I actually couldn't get a cover of this, and then I couldn't find one of, of Suicide Squad that I actually download. $6, 48 pages. Amanda Waller uses Task Force X to save the world and remake it in her image. But what world is it? I believe it's going to be on Earth 3. The leader of the Suicide Squad is going to be Connor Kent. Also, I believe Clayface is going to be on there. And he's going to take the form of, I think, Batman, Marsh Manhunter. And there was another one. And so if it's on Earth 3, that's going to be where the crime syndicate is. So I imagine that's who they're going to be battling. The backup story, and that is going to be Black Adam. And Black Adam rules the planet of Kandak in the 853rd century. The next one is Flash, $4.32 pages. This is the, the preview we obviously gave on the thumbnail. With no powers. No backup and no other choice, people. Barry Allen and the other former Flashes face the deadliest threat they've ever encountered. Wally West. He was just redeemed from being a serial killer, but oh, he's got to be a serial killer again, people. Possessed by an evil force trapped for thousands of years inside the Speed Force, Barry turns to his greatest foe's weapons to save the young man he loves like a son. So I wonder if that's going to be Captain Cold. Is it going to be Captain Cold's cold ray gun? Possibly. Aquaman. What? 
I need to change covers. Aquaman, that is definitely the worst cover. We can see um, we can see uh, Andy Curry is riding a stingray like a surfboard. Everything else looks very dark. This one looks a little too happy for me. It doesn't seem to fit the line. Just putting it out there. And this is, like I said, four page, four dollars thirty two pages. Aquaman, Jackson Hyde, mentors Andy Curry, Arthur and Mira's teen daughter. And there's some type of portal where they go through an ocean world, like there's an old ocean multiverse that they get trapped inside of. And uh, Jackson keeps losing Andy, kind of like Toy Story. He can't he keeps losing her. He can't find her. He's got to go on a journey and find her inside the uh, ocean multiverse. The next one is Teen Titans, $4.32 pages. The original new Teen Titans formed a school to mentor and train young heroes. That didn't turn out so well. It's now a monument of destruction. Years later, returning to the site of their greatest failure, Nightwing, Starfire, Beast Boy, and Cyborg join Raven. Also clearly seen on that cover is Crush, but not mentioned in, in the solicitation. But she's there, people. What is she doing? She's not one of the original Teen Titan teams. Maybe she was a substitute teacher. Next is Shazam, $4.32 pages. This is set years after the events of future state Teen Titans. We learn the truth behind the sacrifice Billy Batson made to imprison an ultimate evil even he couldn't destroy. So there is going to be a new um, Shazam, but we're not sure who it is. Now, the last one I do think, besides that uh, Justice League with uh, – Joshua Williamson and Ram B with the on the Justice League Dark backup story. I do think Swamp Thing looks the best because it has Ram V as the writer and uh, Mike Perkins as the artist. Four dollars thirty-two pages. When the new avatar of the Green uncovers a stray human, a rebellion is revealed. But this Swamp Thing is no stranger to violent ends, and neither are his creations. The trees are going to war. Is it the ants are going to war? Well. What was the line from, from Lord of the Rings? I, I think it's the Eds are going to war. So there we see. That's actually a great cover. It's the Statue of Liberty, but it's but it's a Swamp Thing. I think that's a terrific image. So that is basically the uh, the solicitations. Like I said, Justice League, thirty eight bucks, eight issues. Superman is gonna be. Eight issues, $42. Batman is going to cost you the big bucks. Nine issues for 50 bucks. And those are basically the solicitations that I have. There is one comic out there that isn't being solicited in January because it's only happening in February, and that is the House of L comic by Philip Kennedy Johnson, one of my favorite creators that are actually on here. Like I said, this is a lot of C-list talent. <clears throat> but there's all the details that, that we have, the heroes that we know are going to be in there, the plot details that we know are going to be happening on, I hope you all like Magistrate people. I think we're going to be sick of them by the time Future State is over. He must be a really big bad. He must be a really big bad. So what are your thoughts? Are you excited after having the details of all the solicitations? This took me hours to put together, by the way. I hope you enjoyed it. God, I can't believe it took me that long. But what do you think? Is this exciting? Or after having those details, are you more excited about anything, less excited about anything? I think I'm, yeah, I'm kind of still where I was. There's five or six comics I'm interested in, but the vast majority of the 27, no, no, it's 25, right? 25 comic books I'm just not interested in. But that's me. I hope you all enjoy this, and I'll see you all later.